there fangirls and fanboys! Happy December to everyone! So I'm sure there's a lot of you, like me, who order Loot Crate every month, or maybe not every month, but whatever system you have going on, because it's great deals, it's great stuff, especially for fandom, geeky, nerdy, whatever you like. It's always full, packed with really reasonable stuff for a decent price as well. This year, however, I skipped over the month because I wasn't so crazy about the um, whole comeback theme. So instead, I got whoop, I got a random fandom box, which this random fandom box I found on um, Tumblr. Um, through Geek Studios. They have really good prices on their merchandise, bracelets, necklaces, you have, they have decals, they have a whole bunch of assortments of stuff. So no matter what you like, you're guaranteed to find something there. Anyway, they were doing an advertisement for Random Fandom, which is also Canadian, and um, this one was for a Witches and Wizards assortment box. It was slightly cheaper than what I'd pay for a monthly loot crate. So I decided I might as well invest in something that I'm pr pretty much guaranteed to enjoy. So yeah, so the Witches and Wizards box from Random Fandom uh, allowed you to pick your own Hogwarts house that you either believe you are in or no, you are officially in. Um, or if you don't have a, ho a Hogwarts house or don't really know what it is, you could have just selected a general um, option. I would have gotten the general Harry Potter box for a little more variety of stuff because, you know, you can never have too much Harry Potter stuff. But I decided to stay true to my house and I got a Gryffindor box instead. Gryffindor Pride. I don't know what that was. But yes, uh, according to Pottermore, I am a Gryffindor. And JK Rowling does not lie. So I believe her. Anyway, I've been really excited about this box and I'm dying to open it, but I want to do it on camera because I'm really sure that there's going to be great stuff in here and I know I just want to share with everyone um, so that you might be able to go buy your own box. Let's open this, shall we? Alrighty, let's see what's inside. And the first thing you see is... Socks! Oh, awesome! So the Gryffindor socks with um, the house crest and everything. The colors. Oh, this is awesome. Let me change it to these. Look at those sexy, sexy socks. Gryffindor style. Alright, alright, let's see what else is in here. Oh, it's a hat! It is a Gryffindor knitted hat and is perfect for the winter weather. I noticed that it's actually maroon instead of red. Which? Is it maroon? Yeah, I think so. I'm, I'm not entirely sure why it's maroon considering that the book and the movie uh, both have Gryffindor colors as gold and scarlet. Um, so some people call this a toque, which in Canada that wouldn't exactly be incorrect. Uh, however, I think people consider toques have the pom-pom bow on the top. Uh, I don't know if that's a true assessment or not, but it's actually quite comfy. It's really snug. How about that? I'm all set to battle the winter. Ah, winter would just come. Uh... What else is in here? Oh, it's a... Oh! <laughs> it's a tote bag! That's so awesome! Oh, so it doesn't really matter what house I'm in, as long as I support Hogwarts, which I always have in my heart, even if Hogwarts didn't accept me. Next item we have is Butterbeer Lip Balm. Oh, cool. Oh, it's twist off. Sweet. Oh, it's cracking. Well, it works as a lip balm, that's for sure. Oh, oh it smells so rich and buttery. I wonder if it tastes like Butterbeer. That doesn't really taste much, like much except wax. 
what's next? Gryffindor pride button. And just wear that right here. What is this? As it's, it's apparently a sugar scrub. Oh, okay. That's actually kind of cute. So I guess depending on which house you're in, it has a different color. In this case, it's um, it's not exactly, it's not actually red. It's more of a pink fuchsia color, but still cool. Let's see what it smells like. It doesn't really smell like anything. It just kind of smells like sugar. I guess that's supposed to be expected. Ah, crap. Sugar's getting everywhere in my bed. Crap, crap, crap. Ah. So thank you for that. I'm gonna have to uh, be very careful because this sugar seems to shed everywhere. <laughs> oh my god, that's nice. Lumos and not. So I'm guessing you can put this over your light switch and uh, depending on which way is on, which way is off, you just put it on accordingly. I don't know if I have any room on my light switch actually. And uh, last but not least, uh... <laughs> oh my god, are you serious? <clears throat> so, what I think this is supposed to be is um, a pewter wand replica you put on your keychain. Um, it's just, you know, good Harry Potter memorabilia. It's, it's actually kind of cool. The thing is, I think I got the most un-Gryffindor wand you could possibly have chosen. I got Voldemort's wand. Oh my god. <laughs> this is too funny. I guess they must have just tossed a, like wand in, at random or something, but Hermione's wand, Dumbledore's wand, Harry's wand, oh. But I got Voldemort's wand instead. Good call, boxers. Good call. Oh, I just realized there's no t-shirt in here. Aw. It's kind of sad. So there we go. I assimilated more Harry Potter and more Sony Gryffindor stuff. And, um, you know what? It was definitely worthwhile. Like, the, the price was very reasonable. Uh, like I said, it's less expensive than Loot Crate. Uh, it's only 25 bucks Canadian. It took about two weeks to ship, but I would definitely recommend go check out their website. Um, it's randomfandom.ca and it's affiliated with Geek Studios. I will put all the information in the description box down below from, uh, and you can go check out the website yourself and you know decide for yourself. It, it, I definitely think this was worth $25. Um, plus shipping, which depends on where you live. And um, I know next month they are doing a Avengers theme. I think it starts on January 2nd. Yeah, if you want to take a break from Loot Crate, um, or if you want like a very um, fandom specific box, I highly recommend checking them out. I would definitely buy something from them again because it was fast, efficient, and this is a really good, a good variety of stuff. Thank, thank you for joining me in this unboxing, and I will see you in the next one. Ah,